Hello class 8. This is Tanvir here. Today I am going to teach you chapter 8 of English grammar finite and non-finite verbs. Children as you know that I have already started but I, I couldn't complete this chapter and in that classes number of students asked me many questions. I understood this chapter is not clear to you. No issues. Today I am going to clear all your questions. I will try my best. Children, I am taking the help of Robomed Plus. I hope you do also. And I am hoping to you all, after my class, you go through the internet, you go through your grammar book and if you can if you, you must go through robomed plus it will help you to enhance your knowledge and it will help you to make your st grammar strong so question, my first question is children what is a verb if you make it zoom you can see it there a verb is a word that shows doing actions being or having it means what in simple word we can say a verb is an action word whatever we do whatever action we do that is called verb it is given some example doing being having the child sleeps madhuri is a great dancer sharuk has a beautiful wife Children, if you may, I, if I make it zoom, you can see, slips, is, has, these words are underlined, and you know that these underlined words are verb. Slips is a main verb, is and has, is a auxiliary verb. Okay, coming to next. So you can you can see here, verb is divided into two parts: finite verbs, non-finite verbs. Again, one more again uh, question from your side, sir. What is finite verbs? The finite verbs. If you read your book, you will find out. What is finite verb? Finite verb, exhibit. Tense, you know? finite verbs can change with the number and persons of the subject. Finite verb be predicates of sentences by themselves. Just wait, children. If I go here, I am taking help of internet. You can also take it. Verbs can be finite or non-finite I know that you have questions sir again a uh, finite and non-finite what is the differences between them so finite verbs change their form when there is a change in the subject or the tense I am taking the help of brush children you can say here, uh, I work hard for my family. I work hard for my family. So what is there? The verb work becomes works when the subject is a singular noun and pronoun. Just go through the determiners. If you go through the determiners, or if you go through the subject verb agreement chapter did you notice children Sub according to subject verb change their forms if subject is singular verb is singular if subject is plural verb is verb is plural now see here one more example you can see uh, you can look here here Maya works hard for her family. 
है ना ना वर्क हेयर बिकम्स वट इज वर्क्स ही वॉक्स नाउ हेयर वर्क बिकम वॉक्स ही वॉक्स हार्ड नाउ यू कैन से द चेंजेस ऑफ द वर्क कैन यू सी चिल्ड्रेन लुक केयरफुल यू कैन सी द चेंज फॉर सिंगुलर माया इज सिंगुलर द वर्व इज सिंगुलर ही इज सिंगुलर वर्क इज सिंगुलर हेयर दिस इज कॉल्ड सब्जेक्ट वर्व एग्रीमेंट नाउ सो हाउ टू हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई विच वन इज फाइनाइट वर्व द फाइनाइट वर्व ऑलवेज एग्जिबिट यू टेंस you will find always you can find out that finite verb is within the tense is it clear now if if you go through uh, sorry yes work become walked also work become walked also when the sentence is in the past tense for example i worked very hard yesterday he worked very hard maya worked very hard now see here it was work again become works and walked these three changes in the form of the verb it means word the form sorry the verb if changes their form according to the subject fir se sunno bachcho agar verb apna roop change kar le according to subject that okay it it means that the verb is finite verb the verb is finite verb just keep it in your mind such verbs which changes such verbs which changes their form are called finite verbs understood if you look at your book children open page number 42 If you open page number forty two, just wait. I am showing you. Now, if you uh, see here, I love apples. My brother loves. Now see the verb changing. If the verb changing their forms, then understand these are what. finite verb understood so the verb in circled form you can see the the verbs are in circled form these are finite verb okay now see that i like she like she likes my hobbies are it can be my hobby is also the boys went the bo the boys go okay go went and gone the these verbs are changing their form and these are in tense you see that you know the tense theek hai na jaise ki my brother loves apple which tense is this is present in definite tense i love apples means this is present in definite tense it is clear that if you can identify if you can identify uh, means uh, the verb it means what if you can identify the verbs it is in the tense or the verb is changing their forms it means that it is easier way to find out the verbs that this is finite verb it is easier way to find out the verb is in finite verb now coming to the next if i talk about non finite verbs the non finite verbs just opposite do not change their form when there is a change in the number or person of the subject it doesn't change their form okay and finite verb change their forms now non finite verbs do not change their form now we uh, what are the verbs it is very important to know now it can be infinitive second gerund and participle non finite verbs are divided into three parts infinitive gerund and participle you can see in your book also come now see children non finite verbs infinitive 
I'm making a sorry I'm making it zoom now yes infinitive gerund and participle infinitive two plus verb gerund is what gerund is a verb a, a verbal noun it functions like a noun okay it functions like a noun what we do we do we add ing to the verb okay and make it noun what is participle participle is a verbal adjective what we do we it is formed by adding ing ed en to the base form of the verb now you can see he is eating boiled potatoes she got off a speeding bus the this man is wearing a torn shirt now come to the point that how can we find out the question is that how can we find out non finite verb Chill, let look at the example i need a pen to write okay you can see here understood okay now i need a pen to write he needs a pen to write rani needs a pen to write and ravi needs a pen to write what is meant by this here the verb need is finite because need is changing their form now see i need now he needs rani needs and ravi needed you can see here need needs needs needed the verb changes their form that is called finite verb now you can see here to write is not changing their form it means to write is infinitive and this is non finite verb understand come to the next more example what is more example see here this is okay what is written supriya enjoys swimming i enjoy uh, swimming do you enjoy swimming i enjoyed swimming when i was child now what is uh, what is here that could be understand that uh, uh, we must understand so first uh, we understand the two plus verb two plus verb two plus verb that is called infinitive and i said in the case of gerund we use ing to make it noun understand for example supriya enjoys swimming now enjoys is here finite verb and swimming is here what is gerund means non finite verb we are making it non finite verb supriya swimming karna supriya ko swimming karna acha lagta hai na i enjoy swimming mujhe main mujhe swimming karna acha lagta hai now this is uh, the verb swim is a verb and i have added here ing and made it noun it is uh, this swimming is working as a noun okay this swimming is working as a noun if you come to in the, in my class i will explain uh, i will explain you each and every uh, uh, means sentences okay with explanation so first you watch this video if you're not understanding you can call me for understanding this okay so can you identify the finite and non finite verbs in the sentence given below now you can see very easy enjoys enjoy enjoy and enjoyed this four are what is finite verb because they are changing their form and swimming is non finite because the swimming is not changing their form and this is not part of the tense also come to the next enjoy is finite whereas swimming is non finite verb now there are some questions identify all the verbs in the following following sentences can you see my son likes to watch tv for hour for hours on end she did not recognize him at all she said that she was coming 
there are some 10 and 12 question look carefully children and take a screenshot okay come to the next if uh, coming to the we are coming to the uh, next and see that th this is easy to understand after solving this question if i talk about question number one my son likes finite okay likes is finite verb and to watch is non-finite okay she did not recognize the did not recognize is finite verb because this is in the tense and it may change their form she do not be hosakta hai now coming to next she said finite said is here finite and uh, that she was coming and finite this is intense this is also intense and they, ch they can change their form they can change their form that is why both are finite verbs come to the question of four the injured non-finite women were taken finite because the injured is out of tense okay and uh, uh, and uh, the word taken is intense okay and taken is the v3 take took taken to the hospital here the past participle injured acts as an adjective the injured woman and a ghail uh, woman understood so insert is participle i did not discuss with you participle in the next video i will discuss with you okay i will discuss with you in deeply uh, what is you know infinitive gerund and participle now here we are only learning that how to def how to find out finite and non finite verbs now children you can see i want is finite you to finish non-finite to finish to finish is infinitive this is non-finite and uh, to finish cannot be changed want can be changed want become wanted wants understood now c does not want finite and to waste is non-finite understood time watching non-finite the dog wagged finite to show non-finite went question number eight went finite to buy non-finite have you ever wanted finite to live non-finite okay mother is baking baking is uh, finite because this is in the tense a fresh batch of uh, pastries now shouted finite and to attract non finite look at question number 11 and the last not least i wish finite and i had studied finite because both are intense children i hope that ki in this video we uh, successfully we can uh, we learn that how to find out finite verb and non finite verb in a sentence thank you very much if you have any question, please ask me in the class or you can ask me personally also. Thank you children. Thank you very much.